nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to season one, episode 12 of Shadowhunters entitled Malik or Malik. I'm assuming it's just Malik. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. Uh, last episode was really good. They're brothers. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Uh, brothers and sisters, Jason, Clary, Jaysandra, and Clisandra, Kirk, 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 Kirkpatrick, uh, their brother and sister, which makes Simon really happy, uh, which we haven't seen Maureen. Poor girl, deserved better. Uh, we thought we got the big moment with Valentine back, 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 showing up, getting the cup. There's a huge fake out. Last episode had so many big moments. We're not going to recap them all here, but it looks like they're going forward with the wedding based off of this first screenshot right here. And the little, it played like a couple seconds before I had to pause it. So I think we're going forth with the wedding for Alec and Lydia. Why do I keep forgetting her name? Not good news for Magnus, but I definitely think Alec will eventually come around. I don't know where to go from here. The the Enclave, whatever the fuck these people are called, the Glaive, the Clave, they have the cup. Izzy's free. So now what? I think something happens here. That something has to happen to this cup. Like, it can't be all hunky-dory. Otherwise, what's your big conflict and big resolution, right? And everything focus on the cup. Somebody's got to swindle this thing. So anyways, enough of me jibber-jabbering. Uh, we got some food in our system. We can finally jump into episode 12 here. Police up on the day got a little bit of energy. At the entrance. Got a Coke Zero. Isabel, which color do you like better? It's for the curtains adorning the wedding tent. The cobalt blue. I can go. I won't make that mistake again. We gotta wake up Jocelyn in case she heard anything about his plan. Yep. Have you spoken to Alec? He's Never probably again. busy. What with wedding plans and all, I don't need to talk to anyone. Let's just stick to the mission, okay? We should have told you everything. Oh, That's all I got. Now is that whistling, ain't whistling. Got your ass back. For Lydia. Yeah, Alec, hang out and bond, buddy. I don't always see eye to eye on things. I mean, with his Actually, posture, he can see eye to eye yeah. on anything. He can but look right, look you right in your shit. You know. Thank you for everything you've done to get my mom back. Actually, I, I should thank you. Oh, MCG also worked on this. That's the same people that worked on Supernatural, yeah. I don't know what would have happened to Isabel after the trial if you hadn't returned the cup. You saved my sister, so thank you. Ooh la la. Magnus said he needed to talk to me. What it do, nice to see baby? You, I wasn't sure if you'd come. This man showed up in a fucking. You know how I hate to drink alone. Hey, good boy, if you don't clink that glass with you. Need a drink. Do you have any information? On the warlock who cast a spell on Jocelyn, I'm looking into it. Where's the honor in living a lie? What are you talking about? Boy, go ahead. What about love? Where's the love in the marriage? Even shadow hunters. Love and marriage. You know, it's even in the fucking song. Fall in love, Alec. Right. Just tell me you're in love with Lydia, and I'll stop. I believe you, but you can't because it's a lie. Go ahead and lie. I don't know. Because you're not. You just met the motherfucker. Why do you keep bro? pushing? It's just. It's, you're confusing me. Is he Anakin? Are you getting confused? Confusion is. Are you whispering on this man and blowing fucking frost breath on him? What it feels to chew five. <laughs> How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> what it feels. What it do. I know you feel what I feel, Alec. It's not even the fact that Magnus is just like utterly and absolutely infatuated and in. If an all. Back of lack of better words or whatever in love with Alec but like in an attraction sense because they don't know each other on that emotional level but like he knows that Alec likes him he knows that he likes Alec he just wants him to come forth and admit it like you're gonna go forth with this marriage like that's a lie I don't know why it can't be worked out like hey me and Lydia's gonna get married but like I'm gonna have the secret relationship Magnus don't even want that either bro he just wants you for you and you say you're gonna you would lose everything is this institute homophobic is that what it is are you worried that like you, they find out you like a dude that that's just it you're just on the chopping block 
Because if that's the case, you don't need to be in that situation anyways, dude. That's not healthy. I mean, I mean, I guess after seeing a sister on trial for being a good person, come back around to this. You know, that's rough. I feel for him. In the month of June, of all months, come on, man. Oh, he'd come as my date. Really? I. As his date. I just assumed he'd want to go with Jace. That's uh, not really in the cards right now. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, it's not really in the cards. Uh, well, because there may be siblings. I'm sorry to get that nose hair out. It was tickling me. Oh. Besides, you are the person I'm closest to in the world. Please come. Yeah. I'd love to. Um, <clears throat> I, I bet you be would, boy. Late, you know, with the sun and all. You are the best. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. He is way too happy. Morning. What's Magnus doing? What, what's Morning. up, bro? You just come from training? Yeah. Uh now, we've narrowed down our list of warlocks. Magnus and Hodge got history. Hodgepodge. These three. Why? I know y'all had a little bit more money in the bank to make that look a little crisper. Katarina lost. Ragnar fell. Former High Warlock of London. And then she, New York. She's a healer, a mortal. Here's Ragnar's message. Ever since Valentine began hunting warlocks, Ragnar's been holed up in his secret country house just outside of London. Exposition dump. Know, Ragnar suspected my fire message was a ploy by Valentine to lure him out of hiding. We'll have to confront him face to face. You're going on this mission? Of course. I'm Look, the only yeah, one we are, Ragnar bro. trusts. Besides, I've played my last hand here. Even I know when to fold. Well, buddy. Yes. No, you were here. That was the point. We're just on our way to greet a few representatives of the clave who arrived early for tomorrow's wedding. How long are you staying? What's going on here? Nobody told me about a meeting. Magnus figured out that Ragnar fell as the warlock who can make my mom. We're just bringing him back to the institute. How can I help? We're just recovering a warlock alley. We got this covered. Besides, you have emissaries from the clave to me. You don't want to tarnish your family's perfectly crafted image now, do you? Again, lovely seeing you. <laughs> he said what he said. Get ready. We're leaving in an hour. Hell nah, bro. We didn't know, right? It's not our fault. It's not. I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. Nah, J I mean, I... Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can understand Jace's point of view, though. It's not outright him just being a dick in that situation because what he just went through was seeing his father and then it not being his father and then potentially this girl being his sister and then the fact that Clary had suspicions that old boy was Valentine in the first place but never told him, so he was kind of lied to with his brother, his parapetai, his stepbrother who he knows has feelings for him in a way, but also weaken their bond for just to track him down to see where he was at to them. Potentially like he doesn't know where the cup's going and, and like, who's, who could you trust? And there's a huge strain between Jason, almost everyone right now. I can understand him not wanting to talk about their particular situation in this moment. Clary's right. They didn't know it's not their fault. It's okay. You didn't know. There's, You don't know what you don't know. And now that you know, you move forward. If that actually is the case, you could also be being lied to. Uh, I'm, I'm with Chase. I, I get it. I understand why Clary wants to talk. I'm with her too. No no hate there. Because I feel like they do need to have a discussion. But I don't... Just, right now is not the time. Jace got a lot on his plate at this exact moment. So does Clary. Don't, don't get me wrong. But Jace going through it, man. Now that the clave has so of the mortal cup, thanks to your lovely bride to be, mom and dad can come home now. They arrived tonight. I heard brother and sister, huh? I don't want to talk about it. What sort of thing <laughs> work? <laughs> Why is he walking behind them like it? But it's now all about the mission. Totally ignore the huge bomb that's just dropped on us. Yeah, sounds like a plan. What do you want me to say, Clary, that I was attracted to my sister? Point of fact, brother and sisters are often attracted to each other. I once knew this one couple in ancient Egypt. Magnus not helping. It's just gonna be Clary. 
Come on, bro. Chase? Like we ain't like we ain't know that shit. Magnus! Where are you? Well, I'm all alone. There's no one beside me. Remember that motherfucker's name in Vampire Diaries, Trip Phil? That boy probably in the goddamn painting. Well done. Come on, mate. Clary Fairchild. I've been expecting you. You have Jocelyn's talent, I see. Magnus said. Oh, this boy's cooking for Cocoa Puffs, and Shane asked once who the fuck he's talking to. He's known you for centuries. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, Ragnar. Was that nonsense necessary? Of course. She always it was. I, I just thought, brother, it was just a bongo for bongo puffs. I mean, it's a bit drab, isn't it? Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Shaq's demon. That's Shaquille O'Neal back, bro. Creature took me by surprise. How could Shaq's oh. demon get past Ragnar's warts? Must have followed us. Jump through in the firewall reset. Be still, my little dear cabbage. You Always calling people some goddamn extra shit. A biscuit, cabbage. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fuck with some cabbage. Wounds are deep. Now leave me to take care of my friend. That's fucking sad, dude. Magnus, I'm. Go! Brother died to a fucking check, Steven thing we that nobody that hasn't heard a single fly yet Chase, you're coming to alex bachelor party right no <laughs> i swear if lydia is the lead coming slow up. down we don't know if she did anything yet and i don't fuck with lydia but something about raj man i don't like him either wrongfully accusing someone of a crime is dangerous trust me i've been through it recently lydia was right there when we were talking about ragnarfell restore the lightwood name has touched me in ways that i haven't felt in a very long time Girl, you can, you can head on down to the goddamn store. I, I, you don't even have to go outside anymore. You can just Google doo doo poop poop zzz, zzz, enter. You know? So you're aware of the Alex and how he feels for Magnus and how Magnus feels for him. You... Nah, I don't trust you. Alex is a man of honor. But but she, But she did... She did do so good in the trial thing. I did really, really, really enjoy that moment. So whether she stays just like this or she ends up shitty, can't take that moment away from her. She had one good moment, you know? Even the worst people have good I moments. I truly care about him. Your Valentine's daughter. How do I trust now you? I to trust you. Oh, uh, got a point. Valentina. Demore. God damn it, dude. It feels like there's just something hanging in my nostrils. Oh, new jacket. Black on black. Nice. Trim fit. It'll make you look like you work out. Isabel, is, is Clary okay? She's fine. I What's up with off-brand Robert Pattinson back here? First time for everything, huh? You can go now, Stan. The people that are closest to you. Yes. You a ton of drinking. You have both of those, then your bachelor party will be a success. Yep, my buddy's bachelor party. We just went to the damn casino. Won a bunch of money. Went out to eat, or we ate at the casino. And then went to the arcade. That's it. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy. Just go have some fun. Shit. Is that Katarina Petrova? that photograph i must remember chin down eyes up otherwise i look like a squinty toad you're immortal she killed you Ooh, you let her break your heart you're immortal but yet she killed you that's a fucking bar okay and a lot of cheesy uh campy corny dialogue that's happened that right there that's good shit Don't start seeing ghosts now, man. This shit ain't healthy. Oh. Alec. Alec Baldwin. That's the only other Alec I know. Is it, I mean, 
been going through a lot. A lot. We're not going to recap it, but everything we said earlier when him and Claire was making that conversation, the boy's been going through a lot. But also, man, the whole... Y'all just got patched up right now. You're getting married tomorrow. And Claire is your sister. You know, what's up with that? <laughs> Gabagool! Hey, bro, you're his brother, and he got a thing for you, so... You, know, you guys are borderline the fucking Targaryens at this point. Look, would you be my sujin and give me away tomorrow? I like <laughs> If this is what you really want... Bro, that's the sweetest fucking honest. shit I've ever heard. Oh, man. I'm always gonna be here for you. Me too. Oh, lock it back in. Lock it back in. Fuck that handshake. Give a hug. Oh, boo. Boo. That was a moment that called for a big brotherly hug. He said, will you give me away tomorrow? Come on, man. That's good shit. Fuck. What is happening here? Is he just a fucking Jedi? Are we still going with the Star Wars themes? Again, that's not a bad thing, by the way. I'm just saying. It's a, there's a lot of parallels. Like, a lot. Father son handshake is so Thank weird. You. Just hug your fucking dad. So hug be. your son, actually. I'm glad you. She said, I got you, brother. And she's still conflicted. She don't give a damn. Look at my man right here looking all spruced up with his hair down. Sorry, Mike. Did I miss anything? I left right at sunset. So. You see that fucking smirk, boy. He looked up at him like, what's up, bitch? How's your mom? She's good. Uh, Luke's with her right now, watching over her. Attention. The ceremony is about to commence. Fuck, what's Bowie's name? Attention. Oh, Jeremiah. The ceremony. I mean, they're coming out with the damn... Look, now I can't mute. Oh, there we go. They're coming out with the motherfucking wedding. Season one. Season one with Lydia Idiot, a character we've known for two episodes, and said, we're going to put you in a wedding dress. We're going to have you come down there. <sighs> Magna's about to show up and object. Wow. <laughs> That's my man's right there, boy! Hey, 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 you saw the look on Alex's face. Alex relieved this fuck, boy. First of all, the Stele had a copy and paste feature I wasn't aware about because he copied off the ice block and then the Titanic sinker. And then look at, man. This wedding now. Maris, this is between me and your son. I can't breathe. You can't breathe because your man just walked in the room, brother. That's all that is. That's all right. Hey, boy. I just said I can't help but to love you in the motherfucking lyrics even though I try not to I can't help it cause boo and boo equals two and they're just ready to come together oh he walking straight towards Magnus woo hey mama get the fuck about the way for somebody karate chops you and hit you with a hip toss be I mean on site at his own wedding oh my mans my fucking mans bro come on look at that in that shit too yeah yeah I would have ended the goddamn episode right then and there. You never cease to. Oh, you I never cease to amaze me, Alec. Yeah. What did I just do? <laughs> what did I just do? That's <laughs> a million dollar question. Hey, you better. Both of y'all better drop that fucking scale. Both of you. Fuck off. Kick rocks. I don't give a damn who you are. I'm going to try to set up Jason, Lydia, and then Clary and Simone. You know, just saying. That's tough, buddy. Oh, that's tough. It's a good shot right there. Yeah. I pulled every item of magical importance from Ragnar's belongings, but I can't determine which will lead to the Book of the White. Wait, this bookmark. I've seen it before. It belongs in the Book of the White! In the alternate dimension, you showed me a book of spells, and this was in it. Must have been the Book of the White. Fantastic. I do kind of feel bad for Lydia, though, to be honest. It, it sucks. It's rough. Hey. <laughs> the fuck was that? Is that Valentino? <laughs> hey. 
Had to be, right? You could also end the episode right there, and I've been okay with it. Jonathan Christopher. What's up? It's my name. JC. Jace. Short of Jonathan Christopher. Yes, I know God damn it. This is impossible to believe, but our mother never abandoned you. Solid context clues, man. She thought you were Solid dead. context clues. I like so it. She had left and she she carried you with her. Oh, so they they're dead ass siblings. It wasn't a bullshit lie. That's that's wild. Every single day. <laughs> I'm back. Oh shit. Yeah, it's your shoe, man. Try it on. I gotta take an allergy pill. I don't know who I am anymore. No shit, brother. You're going through it. There's darkness in me. I bet there is, Luke. It's always been there. And your father's pure darkness, and now you have the dark and the light, but you know there's still light in your father. Now, I... when we rescued Jocelyn. That's so awesome. Dad seems a little more accepting. I'm glad she said downworlder instead of a dude. Like, all this for a man or something stupid like that. It's the wedding of the year. It's our rest. Fuck you, Hodge. You're so vigilant. Why don't you let me watch over? No, I don't think we should do it. No, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah? That's probably an even Hodge, dog. He got the cup and everything. See what I'm saying, man? Oh my god. You have the cup. Once a ringworm, always a ringworm. I tell you fucking what, dog. Help me break my punishment, bro. Beep, bop, bop, bop. Fucking Hodge, bro. Hodge Paul. Just the worst. Oh, Malik. Is that the ship name? Magnus and Alec? Malik? Everyone prepares for the wedding of Alec and Lydia. And then IMDb says, struggling with the revelation of their shared past, Jason Cleary avoid close contact while working with Magnus to track down the warlock Ragnar Fell, who may hold the key to waking up the comatose Jocelyn. Which leaves us with one episode left in season one already. Short season is 13 episodes. Um, hey man, that was a fire episode. That was really, really good. The wedding. An early wedding that gets interrupted. And it's cool because Lydia was okay with it. She was like, I know. I get it. Go, go do your thing. It's o like it's okay. It's okay, man. Go be with the person that you're attracted to. This person that you have this connection with. It's it's okay. Nobody's gonna judge you for it, except for your mother. Everybody else was happy. Simon was happy. Clary was happy. Even Jace was happy. Lit uh, not Lydia. Um, I mean Lydia was happy, but uh, Izzy was happy. Everybody was super happy to watch all that unfold and to happen. And then Hodge just takes advantage of the situation, wants to break his, his punishment rune because he's a ringworm, and he wants to go help uh, fucking Valentine. So the cup is gone, which means you have one episode to retrieve the cup and defeat Valentine or just retrieve the cup and set up season two one way or another. And they, they can go from there, which if I'm not mistaken. I think next season is like longer. Hold on, where's my organizer? Yeah, I mean, season two, oops. Yeah, season two is 20 episodes, and then season three is 22 episodes, which is crazy. They got more episodes, and the show still ended up canceled. Either that or it had a definitive ending. I don't think they planned just for three seasons, but but still, uh, all good things all the way around here. Love, love that scene with Alec going straight towards Magnus. He made the decision in his heart. He went for it. He locked it in, and... Uh, even Jace telling Clary, like, man, this is this is how I feel. I'm trying to shake this because I have those feelings. But like, this is this is this revelation that we've had. How do we go? How do we go forth from here? Like, how do we how do we go about our business? That's a rough decision, and that's one they gotta make. And it's ugly, but 
it is what it is. Mama gonna have to get over it. That's all I gotta say. She gonna have to get the fuck over it. But we'll 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 stop there, and uh, we'll head into it. We'll give predictions for the finale here at the beginning of the next episode. But um, I'll see something real quick. Yeah, so you have you have Wednesday off, so nothing tomorrow, and then we'll come back for the finale. That's always rough. That's always a rough. Uh, break. It's always a rough break having it right there, but it is what it is. So, season one, episode fucking uh, 12 was entitled Malik. Season one, episode 13, the season one finale be entitled Morning Star. Lucy? Uh, and for now, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.